Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Jeff Morgan. This could be a preview to our Flyers playing the Winnipeg Jets after finally getting a win against the LA Kings, a team that's in the top three in their division. Where when it comes to the Winnipeg Jets, as you take a look at the standings, the Flyers are obviously 14, 22, and 8 at 7th in their division and 2nd to last place. Where the Winnipeg Jets are in 6th in their division uh, with 43 points at 18, 16, and 7. So still significantly better than the Flyers, 2 above 500. Uh, when it comes to going to the lines for tonight's game, and before we get to that, please continue to subscribe down below or above in the easy to use widget. But they have Andrew Kopp. Mark Scheifele and Blake Wheeler from left to right wing, Kyle Connor, Mark, or Pierre-Luc Debois, uh, Cole Perfetti, and then Paul Stachny, Adam Lowry, Austin po Pogansky, um, and then you have Jansen Harkins, Dominic Tomonato, and then Christian uh, Vasilainen uh, on their fourth line uh, for the defense is Brendan Dillon, Nate Schmidt, Vili Hinola, Neil Ponk, uh, Joshua Morrissey, and then Johnny uh, Kava Sevic, um, who makes up their defensive lines. Kava Sevic is only in his third uh, game this season. Uh, Eric Comrie uh, looks like he's the guy above uh, Connor Hellbuck here on, on Cap Friendly, which usually means he's the guy to go. He has been very sharp in limited playing time this year, albeit in only eight games, but he has a 9-20 and his 2-3-4 goals again. Or obviously, if Connor Hellbuck goes, he's one of the best in the game at a 2-9-3, 9-0-9. Not the best Hellbuck. Hellbuck season, obviously, but if that's your down season, I take that uh, any time because he's still a hell of a goaltender this year, just not to the degree that we always have seen Connor Hellbuck at, but he can get right back to that in the snap of a finger. Uh, for the Philadelphia Flyers, our Philadelphia Flyers, they got Oscar Lindblom, uh, Claude Giroux, and Cam Atkinson, uh, Jane Van Riemsdyk, Scott Lawton, and Travis Konechny, Max Wilman, Morgan Frost, and Jerry Mayhew, who's been hot as a firecracker in the last few games. Isaac Ratcliffe, who laid on a big hit in over nine minutes of ice time in his first game, looks solid overall. Connor Bunneman and Zach McHugh, and that makes up the first four, or the four lines, excuse me, for the Flyers. And then you have Provorov and Braun, as usual, on defense. Sanheim and Risto, as usual. And then Yandel and York. Uh, which eventually I think is going to have to change because I actually think Cam York has played solid um, in his 12 games is coming up. But him and Keith Yandel, th that, that line pairing doesn't make sense structurally how those two players play. Um, <clears throat> I don't know what they're thinking with having that stay together that long. Uh, Carter Hart uh, looks like he's going to get the start at net tonight over Marty Jones. Uh, Hart is a 287 and 913. Obviously, he's been very good this year. Win loss, you can't look at that with this team because this team, you're not going to have a great win loss record, but he does have the numbers to back up being one of the best in the game this season. The, the Flyers are obviously hurt by a slew of people out in Farabee, Broussard, Hayes, Brown, uh, Couturier, Thompson. Uh, Tanner Lazinski would have been a guy filling in if he wasn't injured earlier. And even Kevin Hayes' husband, uh, cousin, excuse me, Ryan Fitzgerald after his year last year, uh, probably would have been filling in if he wasn't injured this season. So they've been hurt by a slew of injuries, but that's not an excuse because uh, Pittsburgh um, has missed Malkin and Crosby for parts of the season. And look where the, where they're still at. And you wouldn't say if you take those two out of the lineup and just look at their lineup on paper, they are all that peachy keen and fantastic on paper, but they always find a will and a way where the Flyers are the opposite this year. They've been finding ways to lose games too consistently, where Pittsburgh, even with key pieces out of the lineup, have always found ways to still get it done. The Avalanche have fought through things, have found ways to still get it done with key pieces out of the lineup, as well as other teams, even the Boston Bruins, who you would say uh, would key pieces out like the Marshans for a couple games. Uh, the Pastas, they all don't have the squeakiest, cleanest roster on paper, but they still found ways to get it done. The Flyers have done the opposite this season. Hopefully, maybe now, they can have a little bit better play mixed in, even if they lose games or at least be more competitive, like a losing team like the Kraken has been this year, and not like 13-game losing streaks getting smoked in most of the game. Uh, but we'll have to see going forward. Obviously, I don't think the season's going to get turned around. Uh, in a 180 for this team, I think this team will be top eight in the draft and pick somewhere in the top eight. Um, but hopefully we can see better hockey going forward, just like we did in the game we were able to beat the LA Kings, just so this team can be more competitive. That's all we want to round out the season. You want to at least watch competitive hockey night in and night out. You don't want to put on the TV and then by like the five minute mark of the second period, start maybe keeping it on your other TV, but, but paying attention or keeping it on your computer or something, but paying more attention uh, to something else. <clears throat> uh, just because 
the game's not all that interesting, and the Flyers are getting smoked. So hopefully, even though it doesn't seem like, obviously, and I don't think it's going to happen, the season will get turned around at all in terms of wins just, just pouring out. Um, but you can at least be more competitive, and that's what I would like to see of the Flyers going forward. So this has been a preview to the Flyers and Winnipeg Jets game. I hope everybody has a safe and pleasant night. Enjoy the game tonight. Hopefully the Flyers have a competitive game against the Jets. If I would have to predict the Jets are uh, coming in a lot more full force uh, than our Philadelphia Flyers. The Jets are not a very consistent team, though, uh, to say the least. And they've only been mediocre in their last 10, but they've still been better than the Flyers. I would definitely have to give them the 70-30 lean uh, in their favor for this game. But everybody have a great day and pleasant day. Please subscribe down below or above on the easy-to-use widget. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe and enjoy your evening.